Hello everybody, it's Elle. So today I'm going to be going through and talking a little bit about PC Pro Chapter 11. I finished that up, so I'm just going to tell you guys kind of what's in it, uh, what to expect, what's it all about, you know, that kind of thing. Um, show you some of the labs, show you uh, a little bit of my OneNote that has all of my um, notes that I've been taking for it, show you through the software, uh, and yeah. So in chapter 11, we learned all about files. Um, we learned about files on both the Windows and Linux systems. Um, we went through, did some labs on that. Um, like always, there's um, reading portions, there's videos, and if I go through a little farther, there's practice questions, and we have a lab. Um, there's a decent amount of labs in this one. Uh, there's only five subsections or subchapters of the actual chapter. So compared to chapter 12, and that one has like 15, this is a pretty small one. So it didn't take me that much time to finish it. Um, I really enjoyed this one. It was cool kind of going through and uh, learning more about files. I already knew a, knew a decent amount about files. But just to learn a little bit more about um, the backgrounds with files and kind of file sharing and file management and giving access to different um, accounts on your different computers and systems, that was really cool for me to learn. I very much enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, so if I go into, say, if I go over to this shared folders, which is one of the subsections, and click on this lab, uh, as you can see, when you go into this lab, you're going to be giving um, different folders different permissions. So um, if you want everyone to be able to access your account, you would give them full access, or you could let them read and write, or you could just let them be able to write. Um, but uh, a lot of the times when you're going through is you're just letting everybody read about it because you don't want accounts to be able to write in your files or edit your files or anything like that. You just want them to be able to go in and access the files, see what's in there, and use that for their job. Because if you give them access to read and write instead of just read, they'll be able to go in and edit the uh, accounts, and that could turn out very bad for your files. So... Yeah, we did, uh, so in 4.6, this lab, uh, we went through, I'll just show you it, start the lab real quick, like always, you click the start lab button, you go into it, let it load up for a second, and over here you're given some directions on how to do the lab. So it'll tell you, uh, you're an IT administrator for a small corporate network, uh, the employee in Office 1 needs to be able to share two folders to make the folders available for users throughout the network connection. Um... In this lab, you're going to have to share the folders uh, and configure them to have different permissions. So for the two different folders, uh, D finance and D graphics, you're going to want everybody to be able to read and write for both, uh, and then different NTFS uh, permissions. So over here, like always, I have um, all my notes on how to do that. Um, you can find that on my Wix website uh, up in the top right corner where all my videos are shown. Um, or, uh, so if you're on my Wix website, you're going to want to go to the PC Pro, and then from the PC Pro tab, you're going to want to go over and click Video Updates, uh, and the Updates, it's going to be up in the uh, right corner of that. Or if you're on my YouTube channel, go to my bio. In my bio, you're going to see my Wix website. From there, you can go there. Uh, you can also check out some of my other videos that I've done on PC Pro, check out my other uh, notes. If you are interested, I have a little bit about PC Pro. Uh, if you're interested in other things that I've done, you can just go through my Wix website and check out that. But back to this lab. So in the lab, you're going to go to File Explorer right here. And File Explorer is going to low up. And then you're going to go over to this PC. And from this PC, you can see all of your different drives and devices. So you're going to want to go to the data drive, because that's your D drive. Um, and then through in your uh, your finances and your graphics. So from here, you're going to want to uh, right-click the graphics folder, go to uh, sorry about that. Should check up on something. Go to the give access to. Click the specific people button, and now you can give 
uh, different people, different permission levels. Um, so yeah, so basically you would just go through this entire lab and kind of, uh, uh, when you're going through this, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have watched videos before, and then at the end when you score the lab, which I'm just gonna get out of the lab real quick, um, you're gonna go through, and when you finish, you'll have a scored lab. Uh, as you can see, this took me 17 minutes to complete. Um, I got a four out of four, passed it. Um, and at the end, you can go through, and what I do is I copy and paste this over to here. That way, if I ever need to go back in and I wanna test out another lab, or if I need notes on it for the final exam, I'll always have that. Um, yeah, and like always with my practice questions, I have a um, Quizlet in there that you can go through, check out the questions and answers, so you can study them for your final certification test. Um, but yeah, like I said, I really, really enjoyed going through and learning more about the files stuff. I thought it was really, really interesting, um, talking about different shared files and different locations you can find the files. Like I said, we went through Windows and Linux, which was really cool, because even though I don't use a Linux system, it's really nice to be able to know what is going on in a Linux system. That way, if I had to do it for work, or if somebody else that I was trying to help with their computer used a Linux system, I'd be able to help them, even though that's not the one that I have. Um, with, like I said, we learned about different permissions, NTFS permissions, different file permissions, everything like that. But yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, wherever you are, whatever time it is. Uh, see ya.